Now to Israel and the Israel-Hamas war. Prime Minister Netanyahu vowing to invade Rafah in southern Gaza. ABC's Matt Gutman joins us live now from Israel as the U.S. and other allies continue to push for a possible ceasefire and hostage release. Matt, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Janae. And it was a rough day for U.S. diplomacy. Secretary of State Blinken arriving here in Tel Aviv for meetings with Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu, bearing a double-barreled message. Cease fire now and do not invade the southern enclave of Rafah. But just shortly after their meeting, Netanyahu making an announcement that Israel is going to invade Rafah with or without U.S. support. Now, Israel is sending a high-level delegation to Washington next week, and I'm told that they will be receptive at hearing alternative ways in which they can protect the 1.5 million Palestinians sheltering in the Rafah area. But this does put President Biden and Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu on a possible diplomatic collision course. And it did not help that this came on the same day that Russia and China vetoed a U.S. draft resolution in the U.N. Security Council calling for an immediate and sustained ceasefire tied to hostage releases. Um, of course, Israel is still involved in this now six-day-long raid at al-Shifa Hospital, Gaza's largest. Palestinian sources telling us that dozens of people have been killed. Israel is saying that it has detained over 800 suspected Hamas and Islamic Jihad militants. And I'm told from a senior Israeli source that this may be one of the most successful campaigns of the entire war so far for Israel. Whip. But as you noted, still some serious differences on the way forward there in Gaza. Matt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.